Welcome to Crypto Simulation Theory. I'm Lagasse and Snake. Tonight, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and what we can expect in the coming days and weeks. I've been doing an ongoing video series with Bitcoin ever since I started this channel because Bitcoin is a metric that leads the entire crypto market, whether up or down. So it's important to see what's going on with it at all times. And uh, I have the chart open on the weekly time frame, which is one of my favorite time frames to analyze this asset on. And you can see that we've been in this descending broadening wedge, which we appear to have broken out of. Um, if I were to draw some lines, you know, and again, depending on where you want to define this, it's pretty clear we've broken out to the upside of this longer term descending broadening wedge. Again, if you want to make it go down like this, hard to say exactly where you want it to end, but this is a very promising sign that bullish times are likely ahead of us. And I've seen some people getting really bearish for some reason on Twitter, and I don't know why you would want to, you would be bearish at this point, but um, I kind of just want to go through a bunch of different indicators with you and show you why I am extremely bullish. Still, that hasn't changed, right? I'm still very bullish on Bitcoin. So you might remember from my last video, I'm going to actually flip this stuff on down here. I drew some pictures and I want to go over those with you. Okay, so we're going to turn them all on temporarily. And you can see that one of my pictures is not coming up. Um, let's go ahead and see, it should be one of these horizontal lines. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. So um, just kind of toggling this back, you can see that I have a price between 100,000 and 137,000 as a likely target sometime in 2025 for this particular up leg, assuming we don't go more parabolic than that. Um, you know, if we go beyond 136,000, things start to get a little too hot. Um, so this is something to kind of keep in mind as far as, you know, what I consider to be sort of a nice topping region before we probably roll over again in a more sustained way. And, uh, but I think this is, this bull flag is about to break out. I think we're already in the process of getting that started. And I'm gonna turn this stuff off again, okay. Just wanted to like show it to you at the very least. But now that that's been shown, um, let's pull up some whole moving averages and see what's going on there. So remember, I told you in another one of my videos, if you've been watching all the videos and you're familiar with what I'm talking about, if you haven't, please go back and watch some of the older ones, that every time Bitcoin had the formation of a red Gauss ribbon, it was usually bullish for Bitcoin price. And um, every time there's been a death cross of the 50 and 100 week HMA, and I, I've talked about this when the death cross, before the death cross even happened, usually that corresponds with a pump and then a dump. Okay. Um, I did mention something about, you know, Bitcoin dumping before the pump. And I mean, we did dump, we didn't dump as low as I thought that we would, but that's okay. I can't get everything right. That was a less, even, even in my videos, I said that, that I wasn't even that confident about that, but you know, that particular prediction, but based on the fact that Bitcoin is always pumped into its hundred week HMA here, it is doing it again. So I fully expect Bitcoin to get um, near or above the hundred week HMA. And I actually think it's going to go above that and head into a new uptrend. I think we're going to see kind of a slow grind up for a little while. Um, it could get explosive though at any time. So just taking a look at the ADX and DI on the weekly, which is kind of give you an idea of the trend strength. Let's go look at it, ADX. And DI, I guess I already had it open. I'm seeing something really good happening here. Look at that. You have a potential bullish cross happening right now as we speak with the DI at only, I'm sorry, with the ADX only at a level of 12. 12 is not very strong. Um, generally, you wanna see this at levels of 20. This tells me most likely a breakout, a bullish breakout is coming. Um, now, it may not start as a convincing breakout first, because I think what's going to happen is this trend strength needs some time to build. That could take some weeks. I think we're gonna be challenging that uh, 100 week HMA right? Which I've been talking about this for a while on my channel. And that is like around 71, 72 K. <clears throat> so I think that is a very likely um, resting place for Bitcoin it, it, to get there and maybe just chop around a little bit, wait a logarithmic Bollinger Bands. We are riding the top of the channel. Channel is starting to break up a little bit. So, you know, that's a good sign. Um, what else could we look at? We could look at what's going on with the tricks bubble. This is one I haven't looked at in a little bit. 
So on the tricks bubble, look at that beautiful breakout happening. You've got a breakout of the lower term moving average. We did talk about this even when it was down in here. The lower term, um, five, this is the five week HMA and, or that's not HMA, SMA. And then these other ones are like, I forget, what does it do? Five, seven, nine, 11, and 14, I think. So we've got everything curling up, bullish, okay? Very bullish. Um, this could get explosive in the coming weeks. Um, what else? If we look at the wave trend and see what's going on with that in a little while since we've looked at the wave trend. Wave trend looks good. Wave trend looks like it bottomed and it has an inverse head and shoulder. So we're probably heading back up into this region. Okay, if I had to guess, I think we're going back up to the red and we'll worry about that when it happens, but this is a good sign. We bottomed out right here. Okay, so everything is looking really, really good. What about buy and sell volume? Let's look at the Wyckoff buy sell volume momentum. And it is kind of leveled out. Okay, we're seeing at a couple of weeks where sell momentum dominated. Now we've got buy momentum kind of picking up a little bit. Uh, nothing dramatic so far, but I do like this leveling out. You know, if you kind of look at the overall trend, this is not uncommon for us to level out before things pick up again. So I'm liking what I'm seeing there. We could be in the beginning stages of an uptrend with buy volume. So that's really good. One other indicator that I've been using a lot lately that I really love is the alligator. Alligator jaws are opening up, very similar to the Gunner EMA, which had a bullish cross back on September 2nd. So bullish cross on the Gunner EMA, alligator mouth um, or lips, mouth, I always forget, mouth, lips, and uh, or mouth, tongue, and jaw. <laughs> Sorry. Have trouble with this one but when green is above red above blue that's bullish basically so the alligator is awake um, and looking for its next meal and so that's that's bullish right that's bullish so there's absolutely nothing bearish that i see on this chart no reason to be bearish that doesn't mean we can't see like a little slight pullback or something here i mean that could happen but really no reason at all to suspect anything but bullishness let's go to the s p take a look at what's going on there let's pull up quarterly Heikinashi candles I like to do this checkup um, these are not hike and ashes. Let's put on the hike and ashes uh, right here. Uh, hike and ashy. Beautiful hike and ashy candles. Okay. So this is quarter four, very bullish for the SP. Um, no reason to be bearish on crypto when the SP looks so beautiful. And in fact, you know, you might say, well, gosh, Bitcoin has really been lagging behind with the SP for quite a while. And you're not wrong, it has. But I suspect that's probably about to change pretty soon. Let's look for evidence of what kind of candles that I just create. Um, regular candles, hopefully. Yeah, I did. I just had dots on there for some reason. Go back to Bitcoin. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is we're going to run a correlation study and see how correlated the Bitcoin price is right now with the S&P. And look, at I, I called this bottom out like back in my videos in August, and I said this was likely a bottoming range. Bitcoin is starting to become more and more positively correlated with the S&P, just like what happened at the end of the year last year. And if the S&P keeps going up, which is very likely with such a bullish hike and ashy candle, then we could probably expect Bitcoin to also be trending up. So this is also bullish. There's just nothing but bullishness. So I'm kind of done looking at indicators, all right? Let's switch over to Bitcoin dominance and take a look there and see, you know, how our altcoins are doing. Okay, so I drew this, um, I think, in my last video, but or maybe this was on Twitter. I don't remember. Bitcoin dominance is also very bullish. Look at that huge candle. Um, Bitcoin dominance is, at, is almost at 59%. In fact, it did hit 59% earlier this past week. I think it's in the final stages of its bull run. I think that Bitcoin dominance is going to top this quarter. I can't tell you exactly when it's going to happen, but I think based on what I'm seeing here, my not financial advice is, you know, I'd be loading up on all coins, you know, with Bitcoin and with um, cash. I would save some Bitcoin for, you know, presumptive parabolic leg. That's like, so I think what's likely to happen is we have Bitcoin dominance going up during a Bitcoin downtrend. We already dealt with that. And I think we're likely to have Bitcoin dominance going up in a Bitcoin uptrend. And I think that a likely topping range for Bitcoin dominance is somewhere between 60 and 63%. Um, no guarantee that we get above 60%. I think we will get to 60%. 
before Bitcoin um, dominance rolls over. And if you look at the Gaussian channel for Bitcoin dominance and you zoom out, you know, we've been following this for, for ages. It looks like it's ready to collapse. OK, because you have a very slow growth rate for dominance really this entire time. But look at that. It's, it's logarithmic. So I think we're getting very close in the next few weeks, probably, if I had to guess, to Bitcoin dominance just topping out and, and, and rolling over. And, you know, um, what if we look at the altcoin season index? Let's take a look at that. See where things are at there. Normally, I pause the video for these things, but whatever. Um, you know, if you've got altcoins that are doing well right now, pay attention to those. This looks like an altcoin accumulation range against Bitcoin. I, I think there's a chance this rolls over again on a Bitcoin uptrend, meaning that we get what's known traditionally as a Bitcoin only rally. So, I, you know, I think this is going to be remembered as a mostly Bitcoin year. Okay, I, I just think that's that's just the case there. Mostly Bitcoin year. Um, so yeah, you know this. Just a little bit about altcoins in there in those videos about bitcoins going back to the bitcoin chart things look freaking good i'm expecting more upside next week we could come back and test this trend line that we just broke out of we broke out of the descending broadening wedge um cup and handle is complete so if you're not sure what a cup and handle is on the chart this is basically your cup and this is your handle that is one of the most bullish formations you can have and it makes me really excited for what's to come uh, you know, and in terms of like portfolio allocations, I guess at this point, if I were running a pretty um, conservative portfolio, I'd probably think about easing up on some of my Bitcoin and DCAing it out into altcoins. Um, you know, we can talk about that more in a different video. Maybe you take a look at Ethereum and stuff like that. But, you know, that's just my not financial advice. Hold on, I would hold on to the, you know, a good part of my Bitcoin position, of course, because I'd like to capitalize on what's likely to be a 2x move coming pretty soon, but I also don't want to miss out on the altcoin moves that are coming. Of course, that just depends on your risk tolerance. So, uh, yeah, in summary, I feel pretty good about Bitcoin. I'm not too worried about it rolling over to the grave right now, like a lot of people are saying. I'm bullish, and even if we get a pullback week or something like that, I think ultimately the most likely direction for Bitcoin is up in quarter four. And I've been very adamant about that since uh, the early summer. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Crypto Simulation Theory. I am the Gaussian Snake. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the content. And hit that notification bell to be notified of more content like this. And I also encourage you to join my Telegram group, um, Crypto, Sim Crypto Simulation Theory Telegram group. Link is in the video description down below. We'd love to have you there. We have a bunch of different analysts, including myself. And our belief, our core belief is there is no guru. We all learn from each other. We trade as a team. We um, reveal all coins as soon as we discover them. It's entirely free. Um, our belief is that we make our money in the market, not off of subscribers. So please join me there. And I'd love to have a conversation with you in um, the Telegram. A great group. Till next time, take it easy. See you.